linear equation. Y equals mx plus b is the most common way to show an equation of line where m is the slope and b is the point where the line intersects y-axis. In the video, whose link has been shared in the description box, we have seen that slope shows the angle of line from x-axis. However, in this video, we understand the concept of slope a lot more intuitively, rather mathematically. We also learn to graph an equation using slope. Welcome you all to the third video on linear equation by the PhD tutor, which is going to be so exciting that you'll fall in love with algebra. So without further ado, let's dive straight into this interesting, super easy, and highly important part of algebra. Let's take a point A on coordinate plane. Its x and y values are 2. Now take another point B, which has x value 3 and y value 4. Connect these two points to get a line. Here, our objective is to find value of slope m for the line joining two points A and B. There is a little handy way to find slope. Starting from the highest point of the line, which is point B, draw a vertical straight line towards the bottom of coordinate plane. Move to another point and draw a horizontal straight line until it intersects the vertical line at point C. The horizontal line AC is called run, and the vertical line BC is called rise. Run means change in x value, and rise means change in y value. Dividing rise by run gives the slope m. Apart from finding the slope, we are also interested to get the length of line segment AB. Finding the length will be a cakewalk for you if you know how to calculate slope. Yes, Sir Pythagoras made it super easy for you. Just now, you made a triangle from a line which is a right triangle. Square run and rise, add them, and find the square root. This gives you the length of line AB according to Pythagoras' theorem. So far, we had the line segment and we found out the slope. Now it's time to graph a line using slope and intercept. Let's understand with an example. In this equation, 2 is the slope and 1 is the intercept. Intercept gives the point where the line intersects y-axis, which becomes the starting point while graphing a line. The slope can be written as 2 by 1. 2 is rise and 1 is run. From the starting point, we move two points up on y-axis and one point right on y-axis. This gives another point. Joining it with the starting point gives the line segment and extending it both ways give an infinite line. Moving on, it's time to get our hands dirty on different forms of linear equation and the ways to graph them. Linear equation is written in four different forms. The slope intercept form y equals mx plus b, which we have already discussed in detail. The standard form, the point slope form, and the intercept form. In standard form, the equation is represented as where x and y are variables and a, b, and c are coefficients. To understand the standard form of linear equation, let's take a line segment between two random points. Extending it both ways, the line will intersect x-axis and y-axis. The point where it intersects x-axis becomes x-intercept, and the point where it intersects y-axis becomes y. Intercept. To graph a line using standard form, we need to find x and y intercepts. But how to do it? Let's take a coefficient as 3, b as minus 2, and c as 6. To find x intercept, consider y equal to 0. This will give x intercept, which is 2. Similarly, for y intercept, Take x as 0, which gives y intercept as minus 3. Mark x and y intercepts on graph and join them to get a line. Moving on, the third form of linear equation is point slope form. It is represented as where a comma b gives the starting point and m tells the slope of the line. For example, here 3 comma 1 gives the starting point and 2 becomes the slope of line. Since we've got a starting point and slope, we graph the point and slope form of linear equation like we did it for slope-intercept form. 
The slope can be written as 2 by 1. 2 is rise and 1 is run. From the starting point, we move two points up on y-axis and one point right on x-axis. This gives another point. Joining it with the starting point gives the line segment. Heading towards the tiny last section of this video, we now look at the fourth form of linear equation. The intercept form is represented as the coefficient a is the intercept on x-axis and b is the intercept on y-axis. Joining these two points gives a line segment. With this, we come to the end of the video. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Those who are new to my channel, hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell icon to stay updated about my upcoming videos. Thanks and have a good day.